Hi guys, it's Sid. So this week's upload was supposed to be something very, very different from this video. I didn't feel right about posting it because I just feel like I have some things to address and just some things that have been heavy on my heart recently that I want to talk about. Although they are hard things to talk about, I know that community during times like this is what we need and if I can even just help one person um, to know that they aren't alone that your feelings are validated they matter and it's okay to be upset it's okay to be sad that's all I really want I also want to say you know I'm not trying to be negative obviously my channel I try to be positive I try to be uplifting but I think it's important to recognize times like this when you know things aren't fine things aren't okay there are many problems going on that need to be addressed. I don't want to just sit back and be silent. I think talking about these things brings people together. I think it's what we need. Where do I even start? 2020 has been crazy, I think we can all agree, and not in a good way. Coronavirus really was, to me at least, the beginning of so many more bad things to come. I moved home right at the start of coronavirus because I just didn't feel safe in LA if I got sick and I was by myself, I wanted to be with my family. Being home and being isolated obviously is what we need to prevent the spread of everything, but it's so isolating, obviously, that's the point. And I think mentally it just really messes with you, or at least for me, I'm just speaking from my experience. I know I've been feeling a lot more anxious and I've been feeling a lot more sad and just not my normal self and I think that that's totally completely normal I just want you guys to know that if you're feeling those feelings you are not alone it's just a really difficult time that we need to get through I know some days I'm just so unmotivated that I don't even know like what to do. I just think there's a stigma around mental health and your feelings are valid. If you aren't happy and if you are sad, it's okay. It's very normal, especially during this time. While obviously I don't want you to feel that way, there's many resources out there, which I will have linked below, that you can reach out to and just check on your friends, call them, FaceTime them. I think for me that helps a lot. Your friend is a phone call away. And just try to use the time to get creative and make the most of it. And I know that's way easier said than done. Even like I just said, talking to your friends and family is a big game changer. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I tried talking about this before. Recently, I'm not sure if you heard or not. Um, I posted about it on my Instagram and I tried to film a video about it and I just couldn't do it. A really good friend of mine, Corey LaBerry, passed away about like two and a half weeks ago now. He was tragically killed in a drunk driving car accident. It was also on his 25th birthday. That also just really you know, obviously was so difficult for so many people because so many people loved him and he was such an amazing person. Corey was literally the most amazing friend to me and so many others. He really taught me what a real friend was. He helped educate me on how to be a good friend without him even knowing it. He was always looking out for me. He always wanted me to text him to make sure I was home safe and he was the nicest most welcoming person he was one of the first friends i made in la i could go on and on about him he always lit up a room he was always so happy and loved to make other people happy the type of person he was is what i think about every single day how can i become more like corey he was so ambitious and he was all about oh wells rather than what ifs if there was something he wanted he would go after it and if it didn't work out he always said, oh well, rather than what if I tried this or ran after that goal that I wanted. Thank you guys so much for sending so much love to him and his family and friends. He has gotten so much love and I'm so grateful to see that. Thank you so much to everyone who's donated to his GoFundMe. I will leave a link to it down below because it is still up and running um, if you do want to donate to his family. I just want to use this second to remind you to please tell your friends and family that you really do love them because you never know what's going to happen. I'll never forget that last FaceTime call that I had with Corey just a couple days before. He was so excited and he was so happy, so full of life and you never would expect 
something like that to happen to anyone. I also wanted to speak on something very upsetting, embarrassing, and just disgusting that recently happened. If you guys don't know, I live in Minnesota right now, and I'm sure a lot of you know and heard that a few days ago, George Floyd was tragically murdered. He was choked to death for several minutes on the ground. When I first heard about this, you almost like don't believe that someone could be that cruel. I'm so sorry to George Floyd's family, to his friends, to people of color to have to keep dealing with these issues. There's no way to justify this incident. What we can do is talk about it, bring awareness to the situation, and not remain silent because being silent in situations like this does in a way promote the injustice. I think the least we can do is come together for not only him but for the community of colored individuals so that social injustices like these stop happening because I know these things happen more often than we even realize. Not all of them are recorded. This one happened to be recorded which Thankfully it was, so that way it got the attention it deserved. But there are so many others that aren't recorded and were not shown to the media. You know, I understand I am not a person of color and I understand that I cannot even understand fully what people of color go through and experience. But just because I'm not a person of color doesn't mean that I don't stand with you and that I don't empathize for you and that I don't want to fight for you. This is not okay. This is not humane. This is not how Jesus would want us to be treating other people. We're supposed to be loving one another. I just want to use my platform to share not only my condolences but my views on this issue because this should not go unnoticed. This should be something that starts a movement and changes the way society views people of color. Jesus created us to be all equal. He loves us all so equally and that's the kind of love we need to give to each other. We're all people at the end of the day. We all have a heart. We are all breathing. For social injustices like this to be occurring in today's day and age is absolutely unacceptable. The fact that it happened here just minutes away from my house, it's just really hits home. I actually did go to George's memorial in Minneapolis. It was really nice to see so many people coming together. I think after just seeing so much negative about the situation in the media and then being able to go to the site and seeing so many people gathered together, sharing love for him and putting down flowers, remembering him and also raising awareness for people of color and equality. It was very humbling and just such an amazing thing to witness. This all starts with us and change is needed and is necessary. I will leave links for ways you can help George Floyd and the discrimination issue we are facing today down below and you can check them out, educate yourself, you can donate, you can sign petitions. There's so many things you can do during this time. I know this video was very different from what I usually upload but I hope it makes you feel less alone if you are feeling maybe similar to how I'm feeling and I hope that if you are not in a good mental state that you reach out to friends, you reach out to family and if you need to reach out to get help, again those links are down below for you guys. It's okay not to be okay but try to reach out to your friends and family. There are so many people that love you. Use this time to just reflect, think, pick up a book, get off your phone, get off social media. I've been reading some really good books recently and that's been really nice and really just eye-opening to get off my phone. I really wanted to make this video because I do know how I have a platform and I want to use it for bigger issues such as these that I just spoke about and I hope this did bring light to those issues. For those of you who are spreading so much love and are posting about these things that need to be talked about, thank you. That's a very courageous uh, effort and I admire you for that. Let's keep going. Let's keep encouraging each other. Let's keep trying to change the world for the better. We are all in this together and although this is a very difficult time for very many different reasons, I hope we can stand together and I hope we can speak more on the issues that matter. I know we can make change and we are the next generation so we have a lot of responsibility. I love you guys so much. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.